Hey everyone, and welcome back to Financeable's interview question review series. Today we're gonna to take a look at a common interview question, which is, how can I buy a business for $100 million, sell it for $100 million in five years, but double my money? It's a common question that you'll get in interviews related to LBOs. Uh, we are gonna have a lot more of these coming soon, so please do subscribe, let's hop in. Admittedly, this is a bit of a weird question. We're buying a company, selling it at the exact same price in five years, but somehow doubling our money. And in fact, if we purchased this company with $100 million in cash and sold it for $100 million in cash, we wouldn't generate a return and we certainly wouldn't double our money. The trick here is in how the purchase is financed at the outset. So let's imagine, for example, that we purchase this company instead of buying it with cash with 75% debt. So let's say, $75 million and we fund as the buyer the remainder, our equity, or $25 million and let's shade that green just so we can represent our investment here. We now own this business and when you own a business they generate cash flows. Let's imagine that after paying off all our expenses and our interest and so on that this business generates a cash flow over the course of the five years of $25 million. In that case, we could use the $25 million to pay down our debt. So when we go to sell the company in five years, we would only have 50 million of debt at the end. At that point, we would sell the business for $100 million we'd have to pay back 50, but we would be left with 50 million of equity in the end. So we started with 25, we ended with 50, and as a result, we would generate here, oh, not a dollar sign, we would generate here a 2x return. We would double our money. So. This is the answer to the question. In short, if we use debt and we pay down the debt, we can generate a return for ourselves even if the value of the business doesn't grow. The reason this question is asked is it tests whether you understand the fundamental value drivers in an LBO. So there's appreciation, which is the growth of the asset, which we don't have here. Uh, that's one of the first major drivers. But the second major driver is pay down of debt through cash flows of the business. And that's actually what's generating our entire return here. So hopefully this makes a little bit more sense now. Uh, we have a lot more of these coming, so please do subscribe and stay tuned and hope to see you all soon.